Again, here it's Jimmy at O'Reilly's Mobile Mechanics, and we've just come to look at this Audi. It's a V6 3.0 TDI. It's a 3 litre Quattro there. So just inside, and we have the flashing coil light and the engine management light on there. So we're just going to go into diagnostics and do a scan on the vehicle. So just run a diagnostic scan. Now we'll just come past the engine, we can just pause that and just go back and check that. Okay, here we're in. We have a particle filter fault there for ash accumulation and the another one here, particle filter below threshold. But we have obviously here a cause for this as well, which is the glow plugs, cylinder 4 and 6 and then the throttle body out of performance. So what can happen on these throttle bodies is the plastic gear can lose some of the teat and then it's not turning the, the flap as well as it should do. So just for now I'm just going to clear the codes anyway and see which ones we'll actually clear. Okay, So we've still got the throttle body one there. I'll remove the engine cover. I'm going to go into the throttle valve here and we're going to command it to open and close and we've got it disconnected here Let's see if I can get a light on there just in there don't worry, we are commanding it to open and close but it's not working it's going to need a new one of these I'm going to use a 17mm Crow's foot spanner here to open the exhaust gas temperature sensor. You know, we can use that as an access point. Okay, we're going to use a few litres of this uh, DPF cleaning fluid into our dispenser bottle here. Exhaust gas temperature sensor back in here. And now we're back inside, we can get the car started up. And you can see there, as soon as we start the car back up, we've got all of the codes back there. We're just going to hold some revs on it so we can push out that fluid, get it flushed out of the system. to our basic settings here and reset the learned values of the particle filter. I'm going to turn the engine off and the ignition back on and we're going to clear the codes. So now we're just left with the throttle valve. Now if we start it back up, the flashing symbol should be gone. Yes. Now we can take it for a test drive for about 15 minutes. I think we've just returned from a test drive and it's all well. So it says we've got one fault there after the test drive. We'll just make sure and see what that is. It's obviously likely that throttle body still. And there you have it, just that one. So the glow plugs haven't even come back yet, but okay, so now that's the DPF done. We're gonna give the customer here the option. Um obviously we're not gonna force them to have any of the repairs done, but it's going to need a new throttle body and glow plugs um, to avoid any further DPF, DPF issues. So once we've got the throttle body and all of those glow plugs changed, the car should be fine. Um, obviously with these faults here, uh, if they're not repaired, the DPF problem will come back at some point. And with most of these jobs that we come to, um, people call us out specifically to do the DPF because their local guard doesn't want to get involved with it. And, um, Nine times out of ten, once we've cleaned the DPF, they say, no, you know what, we're going to get our other garage to do that. But we'll give them that option and we'll let them know what the story is. And that's all on that one. So we'll see you on the next video.